Brooke, from the moment I met you, I knew that was it for me. I feel like this can't be reality because of how lucky I feel to be marrying you. One day I pull up to the house, there is Brooke and this boy sitting there talking. I went inside, asked Cheryl, who's that? It's Chris. That's the guy Brooke has a crush on. It's no big deal. Brooke was around 14 years old. I came home the next day. There they are again. I tell Cheryl, no big deal, he's back. Perhaps the greatest is when you meet the person who makes you feel complete. The person with whom you share a bond so special that it transcends normal relationships and becomes something so pure and wonderful that you can't imagine spending another moment without them. For you two, that happened 15 years ago. You are each other's first loves, and a first love holds youth, purity, and innocence. But going from a first love to a forever love is truly a blessing. Nothing feels more perfect than this moment standing here with you and our closest family and friends. The summer of 2006, when we fell in love, was the best thing that happened to me. I knew I had to lock you down then, and even more so now, by marrying you twice. <laughs> Just to make sure you really like me. We've shared 15 years together, and all this time, God has shown his faithfulness to us and our relationship. You're a man I couldn't dream up or think I was deserving of. You make me feel safe, heard, respected and giddy still to this day. I know we always say God exceeds our expectations, but he really outdid himself when he brought me you. Dear Heavenly Father, I just thank you for the relationship that Brooke and I have built. I pray that you would continue to the the light in our relationship, guiding us wherever we may go. Allow me to be the, the man that Brooke wants me to be, and that this day will be a reminder of the love that we have for each other and the commitment that we're willing to take for each other and the lengths that we're willing to go to ensure each other's happiness. In your name we pray, Lord. Amen. Amen. Okay, I'll see you soon. Love you, Vivian. You are written into each other's lives on almost every page, in almost every chapter. You've grown at different speeds and directions, with at times some significant distance between you, but you have always had this incredible way of making it seem effortless. Your love for each other is great, but your love for your faith is greater, and that is why you two are as strong as you are. I finally saw what Brooke saw in him, a very nice young man. As time went by, he quickly became part of the family, and we considered and loved him like a son. I feel blessed you are choosing me today to be here forever. I know that no matter where we are in this world, God will always be our foundation and you'll always be my home. I love you with all that I am and I'm proud to be your wife. I love you.
It is obvious to all of us you are each other's best friend. I love you both. And Brooke, you have given me more joy to have another daughter and a sister in Christ in my life. Brooke, loving you has been my only life submission. Marrying you is the easiest decision I've ever made. We have dreamt this dream of a life together and we're actually living it out. I can't wait to share so many dreams with you, baby. I love you. It's my honor to declare you married. Chris, you may now kiss the bride. After all of these years, they don't take each other for granted. They're a real team. This is real love. And it's something that I know I aspire to and I'm sure you inspire a lot of people. Chris, my big brother of 15 years. Within the first year you and Brooke started dating, you immediately became family. You have brought our entire family so much joy and laughter and all of my favorite family memories have you in them. Thank you for not only loving Brooke so perfectly, but allowing our entire family experience those loving moments as well. People search their whole lives to find what you two have found in each other, which is a home. There hasn't been a day, nor there will there ever be a day, that I don't thank God for bringing you into his life. From one Mr. and Mrs. Del Carlo to another Mr. and Mrs. Del Carlo, <laughs> we wish you a lifetime of loving each other, seeking God's heart, and continuing the adventure of living a life with no plan B.